Hello, Stoplight TV fans. I am Naylan Bukadawa, and this is the beautiful ever, Love Love. Hi, Naywan, and hi, everyone. Hi. Love Love, tell them what we have in store for them for this episode. Besides Christmas bonus. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so, all right, for the first segment, we have the uh, Inside Racing Grand Prix, which was held at the uh, Carmona Racing Circuit. Yep, and uh, of course, by Altamba. Yeah. And of course, we have the 11th leg ng Slalom Race Series sa Robinson's Novaliches. And speaking of Merry Christmas and Hello, 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 we'd like to greet Tita Bing Bang, belated happy birthday. Hi, Tita Bing Bang. Uh, Alright, and last but not the least, we have the A1 Grand Prix at Sepang, Malaysia. There you go. Stoplight goes international. At syempre, hindi na naman tayo sinama. As usual. Ayan. Okay, guys. This is it. This is it. This is it. Start your engines. Ito na ang Stoplight TV. A record crowd recently witnessed the second Inside Racing Grand Prix held at the Carmona Racetrack in Cavite. The FIM NAMSA sanctioned race event drew a crowd of about 2,500 spectators on Saturday and a record of more than 5,000 fans watched the races on Sunday for a total two-day attendance of almost 7,500 spectators making the IRGP2 one of the most watched motorsports event in the history of Philippine motoring. The GP style annual event was presented by Bridgestone Tires, Shell Advance, Castrol Power One, Motoloid, and Denso Spark Plugs with media partners MotorcyclePhilippines.com, Bikes, Racing Line TV, and Stoplight TV. Five exciting and breathtaking races from a record 99 entries kept the biggest ever crowd in the history of the Carmona racetrack on their feet as the weather cooperated and remained dry. Tigers Victor Loudon took the spoils in the Shell Advance Juniors Trophy after a technical infraction resulted in the disqualification of Anthony Roman and James Barshal. Sonic Boom's Tracy Gotti and SK Norkis Randall Ilagan were declared second and third place finishers. MCX Racing made their successful IRGP debut with Jeff Chopenko finishing in the top 8 position. Yamaha's Jeffrey Chan took an early lead from the biggest grid of the day with 28 entries and maintained it till the end to win the Castrol Power 1, 115 Grand Prix over Kawasaki's Tracy Soyanko and ART3 scooters Mark Marshall. Suzuki's John Larry Enriquez was fighting for the win with Chan until he made a mistake. He was still fast enough to regain fourth place. MCX Racing's Daryl Esguera was a top non-Japanese bike finisher in a respectable 10th position. The most exciting race of the day was the Shell Advance Masters Trophy when Yamaha's runaway race leader Jaime Bershal sputtered on the last lap and was caught by Kawasaki's defending champion Mark Anthony Chua. Bershal won by a photo finish to register the closest IRGP finish ever. Yamaha's Jeff Chan was third, followed by Suzuki's Tomas Bauson. MCX Racing's Jerry Quinones brought MCX's highest IRGP finish to date with a solid sixth place. Kimko's Rod Chua suffered engine problems during qualifying and had to start from the back of the grid but still finished in 13th place. In the Denso Spark Plugs Automatic Grand Prix, MTRT's Casey Nang completed his sweep with a victory over teammate Anthony Ang and PMR's Benjo Mendoza. Kimco's Edwin Benaventura suffered an engine problem and retired early while Suzuki's JR Tan and Ivan Santiago finished in 6th and 7th respectively. The final race of the day, the Castrol Power 1 130 Grand Prix went to Yamaha's Michael Buncho over Kawasaki's Rizal Di Canare and RAR Racing's Rainel Resuelo. Suzuki's Enriquez finished a strong fourth place while MCX Racing's Darren Esguera was again in the top eight. Motorstars Mark Indionko and Japeth Chua finished in tenth 
and 11th respectively. The Motor Light Fastest Qualifier Awards went to Tiger's Mark Medina for the Juniors class, Suzuki's Don Larry Enriquez for the 115 GP category, Yamaha's Jaime Barshal for the Masters class, MTRT's Casey Nunn for the Auto GP class, and Yamaha's Michael Buncho in the 130 GP category. The Inside Racing Motorcycle Dealers Association of the Philippines Fastest Privateer Awards went to Sonic Boom Motorsports' Tracy Gotti for the Juniors class, Mark Barshal of ART Tres Scooters in the 115 GP category, Bullet Red Sword Boot Shop's Noel de Mesa in the Masters class, RAR Racing's Reniel Resuelo in the 130 GP category, and MTRT's Casey Nang for the Auto GP class. Meanwhile, Yamaha Motor Philippines took three IR Manufacturer Awards in the 115 GP, 130 GP, and Masters categories, while Tiger Thailand Philippines took the Juniors class and PMRC was victorious in the Automatic GP category. Okay, Boss Al, first of all, congratulations Salamat. Salamat. for another successful IR GP. And uh, honestly, nakasama ko si Boss Al in the real GP, <laughs> Moto GP uh, in Italy. And uh, I have to say, konti na lang. Konti na lang. Konti na lang ang igaganda pa nito. What's in store? Of course, let's uh, recap for our viewers out there. Ano ba nangyari today? Yeah. Uh, first, Matt, thank you very much. Stoplight TV. Alam nyo, Stoplight TV, hindi kami iniwanan for how many years na and we're glad and, you're with uh, us again. And forever, man. So, uh, the race today, IRGP2, uh, we're very happy with the turnout. In fact, it exceeded our expectations. Yes, I agree. Uh, last year, we had 67 entries. This year, we had 99, no? 99? Yes. Uh, in, how many, in how many classes? Yeah. There are actually five classes this year. Last year, there were four. And I would like to first say now, all of this would not have been possible without the help of our mm -hmm. media sure, friends, my staff, and of course, our sponsors, if I could mention them. I would like to thank Shell Advance, Motolite, Castrol, Bridgestone, and Denso Spark Plug for making this happen. Um, and uh, recap is that uh, the races, as you can see, all very exciting. Yes. We even had the photo finish. Uh -huh. And although it's a bit dark now, but uh, I think the crowd enjoyed. Ano bang aganda pa? What else can you see in, in the IRGP3 2009? Actually, uh, that's our goal. And I'm glad that you... Uh, that you uh, mentioned that the goal of uh, IRGP is actually we want to bring, like you said, magkasama tayo, and both of us were, you know, we're very happy, and that since we are racing fans, we wanted our local Filipino race fans to, to feel it, experience it, something similar. Medyo kung wala pa tayong MotoGP dito, no? At least we can say we have IRGP, and that's our mission to bring the uh, GP experience to the race, local racing fans. Okay, it's now the year end and you're, you're the season for inside racing, all your events, activities. What's in store for 2009? Maybe you can enlighten our viewers. Yes, of course, for 2009, we will have IRGP3. We already have a date, November 2029. We have the Bike Fest and we're cooking up events now. We hope to bring something similar, not in a big way, but in, in a more... Uh, Filipino intimate way, way Filipino way of, of racing and we want to do it during the off season no? so it won't conflict with winter our winter season no? yeah like winter season so it won't conflict with our uh, organizer friends so a real IRGP na hindi one day but uh, a season yeah it's not the Grand Prix will always be an annual event no? Mm -hmm. if you do a series yeah, it will, we call it the IR Cup okay so watch out for that and uh, of course go uh, visit your favorite bookstore for the latest issue of Inside Racing yeah. once again with, uh, on behalf of Inside Racing we'd like to thank our staff thank you thank you thank you for man. being here okay so guys yan yeah, Inside Racing Magazine dito lang yan Stop by TV undoubtedly the second Inside Racing Grand Prix was one of the best two wheel motor sports events in the history of Philippine motor ring catch more momentous motorcycle races from Inside Racing only here on the country's only motoring and more sports program, broadcasting almost 100% of Philippine motorsports. You're watching Stoplight TV.
อ้ยชีวิตจริงไม่มีเวลาคิดนานขนาดนี้ Try safe, ride right. A message of concern from Stoplight TV. Ang idol sa kasada, tama kung k u b o r m a Apply effective mental strategies. Gawin ka ng two second rule sa normal na daan at i-apply ang four second rule sa basa at mabuhang ng kasada. Laging handa sa kilos ng ibang motorista nang m a k a i w a s sa disgrasya. Alamin ang limitasyon ng ating m o t o r i s t o at i n i w a s sa pagmamaneho ng nakainom. Daan, ride safe. This quick safety tip is brought to you by Honda Philippines, Honda Safety Driving Center, Honda Foundation, and Pantay Kalikas. Nakangiting naglalakpay, mga pangarap ay sakay. Ganito sa buhay Honda. Pangtrabaho o pasyala, imig mano hanap buhay. Masaya ang buhay Honda. Iwala kang mararating sa masamang abutin. Iwala kang mararating sa masamang abutin. Sa kaya sa buhay Honda. The 2008 Race Motorsports Club National Slalom Series is powered by and shown exclusively here on Stoplight TV. The Kings of Asphalt were persistent once again in the 11th leg of the 2008 Race Motorsports Club National Slalom Grand Prix Series. The parking lot of Robinson s n o v a l i c h e s was filled with pylons to set the intensifying competition, and every racer delivered their best and smoked the track. And if you're thinking that the event always showcased the usual acts, another thing again. All the racers were excited and well prepared for this race, all knowing that this is the penultimate round in this year's slalom race series. That's why the heat rate intensified as the racers outdid themselves and raced to the high heavens just to beat the fastest time. Joining us for today's 11th leg of the Race Motorsports Club National Slalom Series, right here at Robinson's Novel Market, and I have here with me our novice best time today, Nock Hirachi. Also, we also have our front row best time, Nino Sante, and of course our first and second placers for our overall in production series best time, Noel Rivera and Doc Piwi Menjona, and of course our their teammate, Mr. Jojo Camacho. Okay, so guys, how does it feel to race today after a long break? Good. No, here up, here up. Because no, yeah, chef, you have your cobwebs and uh, you have to get the feeling again. But uh, at, at the end, okay, naman. Okay, we have our uh, jet set up. Balik bayan, mayro pang jet lag. PV, kamusta? <laughs> yeah, well, uh, nadi bago na naman ako, no. So I, I was trying to catch up with Noel, but I fell short today. So. <laughs> anyway, we still have one leg to go, and uh, so now they're the top contenders for the year. No. Medyo okay ka na, no? Medyo ano ka na? Lamang na lamang na, champion na for the year. Medyo lang ka ng kalaban. So, how would you um, say your year was? Enjoy. Uh, sarap. 
So we hope to see you next Sunday. Don't forget to keep on watching Stoplight TV. And we hope to see you this coming Sunday, December 7, back here at Robinson's Global for the championship leg of the 12-leg series of the Race Sports Sports Club National Slalom Series, sanctioned by the AAP. Till then, see you. Despite the Christmas weather, the heat is rising as the 2008 National Slalom Grand Prix Series moves its final paces for this year. So be sure to make no appointments on the next race and watch it only here on the most viewed motoring and motorsports program in the Philippines. This is Stoplight TV. The 2008 Race Motorsports Club National Slalom Series is powered by and shown exclusively here on Stoplight TV. In celebration of the grand opening of the Cherry Center After Sales Service Center and Cherry Trading Center for Southeast Asia Pacific Region, Cherry presents its QQ 3 Cheers promo. Hurry, this is your new Cherry Beauty today. And here's the latest local motoring news. The search for the best media carolers is now over as Hyundai Philippines recently held its Media Noche Coral Festival at the Atatrino in Green Hill, San Juan. Various choral groups from different press and media outfits joined the said event that represented each of the respective companies but only a select stood out. They were Business Mirror who took third place followed by second placer Philippine Daily Inquirer and GMA7 bagging the first place. They performed to the delight of the overflow audience and impressed the panel of judges, which included composer Louis Ocampo, singer Ivy Violan, and arranger Kichi Molina. The event marked the first time that the car maker Hyundai Asia Resources Incorporated, an exclusive distributor of Hyundai vehicles in the Philippines, organized such a contest for the Philippine media. Know the latest from the local motoring industry only here on Stoplight TV. I'm Graham Rahal, a race car driver in the Champ Car World Series. Whether I'm reaching speeds of nearly 200 miles per hour on the racetrack or driving at home on the street, I always keep my hands on the wheel. Recent studies show that most crashes and near crashes involve some form of driver distraction. Please don't text while driving. The consequences can be very serious. Keep your hands on the wheel. Join me and my fellow drivers in the Champ Car World Series by taking the pledge at handsonthewheel.org. Don't use your cell phone while on the road. A safety reminder from Stoplight TV. Stoplight TV's details is powered by Chris. Call 0919-328-1115. And here's the latest motoring news. Goodyear Philippines recently conducted its Thanksgiving dinner and launched their new F1 asymmetric tire to the different motoring media who have been supporting Goodyear in the past years. Goodyear is about advocating safety and our media uh, advocates have been very, very strong in, in uh, communicating our cause and, and working with us to make sure that the roads out there, the drivers out there are much more safer to, to drive in. Um, through our product launches, we also work together to make sure that we listen to them and uh, we let them know that we hear them through the innovations that we bring to the market. They also have a chance to uh, get hands-on experience with our tires, particularly in markets where we hold regional launches. So it, it's a very, very good in, in relationship over the years, and uh, we're glad that, uh, you know, that uh, we have uh, pretty much nurtured our relationship because I don't think Goodyear will be anywhere here without the support and help of our friends from the media. Uh, we all ply the roads, whether it be for uh, 
uh, for commercial purposes or for pleasure purposes. And to the degree that we can make our road conditions more safe in the Philippines is for the benefit of everybody. We do that by bringing new products into the market. We do that as well by bringing an awareness around our Bayani Nankosada Highway Hero Program. And we do that through our Women with Drive Program, which teaches basically uh, Automotive 101 for female consumers. And uh, the coverage that uh, SPMJ and the media has provided us in the Philippines to bring that message to the consumers, we're most appreciative of that, and we want to thank them for that. And so uh, we can't think of a better way to start off the holiday season with a message of safety, safe travel to everybody. Thank you for your support of Goodyear. All the best for the balance of 2008, and a very happy Christmas. Malagyang Pasco, Manigam Bagantan from Goodyear, Philippines. Thank you. Know the latest in the local motoring scene only here on Stoplight TV. Yanni became the fifth different race winner this season as A1 Team Switzerland took victory in a dramatic sprint race at the Sepang International Circuit. As the cars came in formation towards the rolling start, an incident involving USA, Brazil and India brought out the red flag. The pack appeared to pick up the pace as it approached the starting line, but then backed off causing an accordion effect towards the back of the field. The USA car of Marco Andretti and the Brazilian car of Felipe Guimaraes took in turns to climb over the back of Nerein Kartikeyan's Indian car, scattering debris across the main straight. The race was immediately red flagged and after a 30-minute delay, the cars lined up in a single file to start behind the safety car. But Great Britain's Danny Watts had to crawl his car back to the pits as it was stuck in first gear. The race finally got underway and Switzerland held the lead as the pack came around for a cautious single file race start. Just after three laps, the order at the front settled with Switzerland having a 2.3 second lead from France, New Zealand, Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Netherlands and South Africa. With changes to the regulations this season, the cars headed towards their first ever mandatory sprint race pit stop with France and New Zealand being the first to dive in. After a quick stop by the Swiss crew on lap 5, Neil Yanni rejoined with a comfortable lead and held on to win the Sepang Sprint Race for the third year in a row. Switzerland also picked up a bonus point by setting the fastest lap at 1 minute 48.5 seconds on lap A. Despite what looked like an extremely bad crash at the start, USA, Brazil and India were all ready to take the grid for the afternoon's feature race. Yeah, a very good race for us, the sprint, uh, first win of the season, uh, first win of the Sunday for me. Um, you know, it's, it will be a lot tougher for us in the afternoon, and, uh, but it's a good point and we'll have to fight in the afternoon. Obviously mixed emotions from today, obviously the guys have worked fantastic, they've done two all-nighters to get this car really working this weekend. Obviously a win in the first, but uh, obviously disappointed to uh, be at the back and obviously get taken off on the first, second corner. In the feature race, A1 Team Ireland became the first nation to score two victories this season, as Adam Carroll dominated the Sepang feature race to take a comfortable win. The safety car was deployed just after the start of the 34-lap race due to a first-lap incident involving the Indian, Dutch and Chinese cars. This was quickly followed by Switzerland's Neil Yanni spinning off at turn four, bringing the defending champion's race to a premature end. Pole sitter Ireland's Adam Carroll edged away from Portugal's Felipe Albuquerque as the racing got back underway on lap three. Moments later, the home crowd roared as A1 Team Malaysia's Pyrus Fauci shot past Lebanon to take third. Adam Carroll had increased his lead over Portugal's Felipe Albuquerque to 14 seconds with two laps remaining, cruising to his third victory for the Irish team. Carroll and second place Albuquerque were joined on the podium by 21-year-old Marco Andretti in third, a brilliant achievement in only his third race for A1 Team USA. Local hero Fairus Fauzi, who started from fourth on the grid, was pleased to pick up a point at the end of a difficult race for the home nation. 
Confusion caused by picking up the A1 British team radio communication meant Fauzi mistakenly came up into the pits on lap 16 when he was lying in a comfortable third place and looking good for a podium finish. As of this race, A1 Team Ireland now leads the 2008-2009 A1 GP Championship on 43 points with A1 Team Portugal 8 points behind in 2nd place. For the future race, uh, it was very disappointing. I mean, after the first pit stop, towards the second pit stop, I heard uh, I, pit, I speak to the team and uh, I heard someone calling me bots, bots, bots and when I pit in, it was uh, not our team. And I saw everyone's not ready, so we did analyze what happened. And uh, with GBR, actually, GB, Team GBR, the one that speak to me. There's a big uh, problem in the crossover in the radio. I mean, a big disappointment. I hope we we can uh, try our best for the incident. But at least uh, we we did a brilliant recover to finish in the tenth. Consider we got a three pits stop. To be honest, I, I have a lot of faith in my boys. I really do. I mean, they've put a lot of race cars together for me in the in the states. So, uh, you know, I had faith it was just going to come down to whether we were going to be able to get the parts or not. And uh, you know, it's 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 great. I mean, to see the camaraderie uh, along the paddock. I mean, uh, we were running Korea's rear wing, so uh, you know, it was uh, very thoughtful of them to uh, to help us out. In the beginning, I pushed as hard as I could, but then I really, Adam was just just too fast and uh, it was really hard for me to keep the pace and I had to start to, to screw the tires, some locking wheels in the rear. It was really hard at some moments and then from middle race and on and then also the pit stop. It was great for us. I was willing to go get a bit closer to him but it was not our day for win. So and then middle to the end, I will, just they told me that why we're 24 five seconds ahead so just get the second place. It's really good. That's exactly what I wanted to do this weekend. Uh, you know, starting on pole was was good. I was very very happy after that. You know, it's something I just uh, really needed to do, even just for myself. And uh, you know, I just concentrated on getting the start and pushing as hard as I could all the way. I've been lucky enough to win some some good races actually, but personally for me, it's actually probably the best. Um, you know, I feel good, and I really want to go and you know, try and win this championship. I want to just really prove that I, you know I can not just win races but be a champion. Catch the highlights of round four of the 2008-2009 A1 Grand Prix World Cup of Motorsports. Exclusively here on the Philippines' only internationally recognized motoring and motorsports program. You're watching Stoplight TV. Bye-bye time, so long, farewell, we have to say adieu. Bye-bye. 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 Ayan, for those of you who want to get in touch with us, alam niyo na po yan. Titext niyo lang pong on space stoplight and send it to 2948 for all networks, our website, and internet TV. Why not? www. Ayan na naman ang bulaklak ko, nalaglag. But anyway, it's www.stoplight.tv. Ang email natin ay... Info at stoplight.tv. Again, info at stoplight.tv. Yung flower mo, pakiayos naman. Oo nga eh. And anyway, ang ating Friendster account, woohoo! Stoplight underscore TV2 at yahoo.com. And our US and Canada uh, subscribe, subscribers, watchers, viewers, and yun na nga yun, you can get in touch with us. All you gotta do is call 718. That's the area code 718. Number is 880. 0753. Again, area code 718. Phone number is 880 0753. Ayan! At dahil is a Merry Christmas Zoon, uh, we would like to greet everybody a Merry Christmas and we'd like to say thank you to Kuya Janine for being, you know, patient with holding the idiot board and to Ton for holding the camera kahit paulit-ulit na kami nag-take and to Ernst Maraming maraming salamat, Urge, sa iyong pasensya at sa iyong kapulitan. At minsan hindi kami sumasagot pag ikay niti-text. At si Bossing, bonus, 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 bonus,